avoid his work to play video games. May, literally May. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So I've done quite a couple of these videos now where I go through the entire history of a certain family or person and a lot of you really seem to be liking them. So I'm going to keep carrying on because why not? And I did post on YouTube which one that you wanted to see and a lot of you said the pancakes family and I kind of fancy covering the pancakes family. So that is going to be who we're doing. If you haven't caught up on all the other ones, I've done the Land Grab, the Pleasants and Bella Goth so far. So go check them out if you want to. But yeah, let's just start the pancakes family very contested issue i was gonna say love or hate but no one really seems to love the pancakes i know cactus has a little thing for bob but apart from that they're not one of the most favorite families in the sims or anything but we first see the pancakes family in a trailer for the sims 4 and it's the trailer where it depicts everybody being a little bit different so that's where we first see it and bob is not painted in the best light from the get-go he's not going well for me, not going good. He's depicted as the least interesting sim in the world and I kind of agree. I don't think he's got much to him. But this also makes me wonder why Eliza gets so much hate. And honey, let me tell you one thing, one thing straight right off the bat. Still don't like Eliza. Today is the day that Eliza Pancakes dies. So I just wanna, cause I know people might get offended, I'm only putting them clips in, not to slag off Kayla or Christina, but I'm just using them as context for the hate that Eliza Pancakes gets. So everything's all good. I'm not starting no drama, okay? I'm not Jeffree Star. Let's keep it all peaceful and nice in the Sims Coon Inc. Can you really blame her? Imagine you being with the least interesting person in the world. I'm sure you wouldn't be that nice either. And Eliza is also seen here as well, nagging to Bob, which again, the further we'll go into the whole history of the family, then the more that it's understandable why they are the way they are. I kind of find it hard to blame Eliza. I don't know. But also, I can also find some things to blame Eliza for. Just not to do with this one. The first time we can actually play with them is in the Sims 4 base game. They're included in the default worlds. They live in Willow Creek and the, the house is, is a bit weird, right? It's a decently sized middle class house. Like they're doing well. They're not massively rich, but they're not massively poor. They're just middle class. So the house is nice. It's got quite Victorian style furniture. So the furniture is quite posh. A little bit bougie and the downstairs is all one style and it all fits with that certain style and fits with the general vibe of the house but the upstairs is where things start to get a little bit weird just a little bit strange upstairs has two bedrooms but the couples inhabit different rooms which at that point were like what's going on do you need a marriage counselor and they probably do to be honest like i think they would probably thrive on some marriage counseling or something they need something. But the two bedrooms as well are very different in themselves, which makes this a little bit, even just stranger. It shows how different the two personalities are. And I kind of want to know how they ended up together, but we don't know that. They just kind of seem placed together. It doesn't really make any sense. But Eliza's room is very posh. It reflects the style of the rest of the house. It's very bougie. All of the stuff looks quite grand. Kind of got that Victorian vibe as well. But Bob's room, on the other hand, kind of childish. It's a little bit weird. It's got basic furniture it doesn't suit the rest of the house at all and it, it, you wonder why is it there why is it like that because it's so different but I think that's the, the whole point of like why it's different and they don't really have a good marriage the family bio kind of hints towards that and the rooms also show that the marriage is it non-existent if it's even there but from this we'll move on we've given an overview of the house and with the two characters themselves so now we're going to delve a little bit deeper into both of the characters and find out a little bit more about each of them so starting off with Bob because Bob seems to be where the majority of the problem problems lie. Oh, here we go. So Bob is a young adult sim. They're both young adults. He's a level three in the culinary career and he wants to be a master chef. That's his aspiration. His traits though aren't really the best. He's a slob, he's gloomy and he's a loner. You can kind of empathise more and more with Eliza the more you find out about Bob. So his traits aren't the best, but he's got good ambition. He wants to be a really good chef. He's got like the place that he wants to be. He's already in the chef career, level three. So he's kind of doing well. It makes me think how they afforded that house though. Maybe they're just the baby boomers. Because my grandma did say the other day, and I'm going to roast your grandma because I know that granddad watches these videos. So grandma was like, I mean, it's just the problem with kids these days. I mean, they can't buy a mortgage, but they're out here buying clothes. And it's like, clothes are maybe like 20 pounds 
for a top grandma, not like £150,000 for a house. Sorry to roast my grandma, but yeah, maybe the baby boom was Bob and Eliza and that's how they can afford that house. But anywho, just want to let you know, because apparently I was really bothered then. I am actually all right. Me and my grandma are like that. She's a great lady. I think my issue is more the fact that I can't afford a house <laughs> I just want to buy a house. Thanks, Obama. He also has three skills in both cooking and mixology, so he's kind of working towards growing his skills and becoming better in the culinary career. And he's got one skill in video gaming, which kind of depicts the type of person he is, because Eliza... You wouldn't really look at her as a video gamer, but Bob, you can kind of see he's a little bit of a avoider's work to play video games. Me, literally me. And it just shows how completely opposite they are to each other. I can't see any similarities at all. Like I said earlier, how are these two together? It makes no sense. You can also find him in Create Sim as well. There's a picture, it's like a stay weird a picture that you can hang of Bob. And this really reflects how boring his character is. Like, oh wait, he must have some to him, but he, he just, well, he's got one little thing to him, which I'll talk about in a bit, but oh wait. Like, there's nothing there. He, it says he has no more than two cups of coffee a day. Like, oh, all right. And he stayed up till midnight one night. But that night did happen to be New Year's Eve. So, how oh, boring. There's just nothing there. There's nothing to him. If he fails at something, that's it. He's failed. He doesn't try again. He doesn't build a bridge and move on. It's just like, just done. Doesn't do it. Also me. Literally me. I think Plumbella might be Bob Pancakes. And it says that if things get hard, it just puts the telly on. And I mean, I can relate to him there. Like, I do that too. I just kind of avoid issues. So we have a lot in common, Bob. It's true, we do. But the most interesting thing about him probably is the fact that if he has breakfast, it'll always be pancakes. That's the most interesting point about him. <sighs> oh, wow, he hasn't really got you. Really... Not much, hasn't got much going for him. Eh? I literally did not speak a word of English there, and I'm sorry. I apologise for that. <sighs> Although he's doing well in his career, so I don't want to shade Bob too much. And then we move on to Eliza. So Eliza is also a young adult like Bob, but she doesn't have a career. She stays at home. Which It's like them episodes of the house hunting things where one person's like, yeah, I'm a freelance bee trainer. Yeah, I stay at home full time. He is this massive house, doesn't make sense, does not compute. And her aspiration is the fortune aspiration and she, hers is the mansion baron route, which paints her. <laughs> That's all you need to know about Eliza. She wants the best everything. Her aspiration is all about having the best and largest home. One of the categories in the aspiration is having so many windows, which is mad, is mad. So she's all about the money. She's all about everything like that, which is reflected in her traits and all because the traits are narcissistic, neat and perfectionist. So from that little picture there, I keep reiterating it, but how are they together? It makes no sense. I can't see it. I, I don't know. They don't belong together, which is probably why they're having issues. And she also has three skill levels in fitness like wow well, you go girl and that's pretty much all there is to her there's nothing else she doesn't have a career she's not really aiming towards anything she just relies on bob to make the money which also just to defend bob for a second if my wife stayed at home and didn't do anything and i was the one who had to go out to work sometimes all the time even i'd think no you know what I am going to sit and play video games. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to be a slob about the house because I go to work all the time. And if someone's staying at home, I think it's pretty fair that they should be the tidy ones. I don't know. Moving on slightly from that, the relationship between the two of them. So there's clearly some issues going on there. It's not quite right. It's not. So the actual relationship level is decent, which I found quite weird. So it says that there's all these issues and they sleep at separate rooms and stuff, but the relationship between the two is at a decent level. It's good. There's nothing really there to say that it's bad. This could just be an error on EA's part that they forgot to do, which wouldn't surprise me because there is so many families in the game that you know, it must be hard to make one relationship bad. But anyway, so they obviously lead very different lives, separate bedrooms. The bedrooms are completely different. They've got completely different personalities, completely different aims in life. Nothing matches up. Just want to add in as well that they don't have any other friends, like literally the only people that they know is each other, which is probably just laziness on EA's behalf. But will you get out of my video? It's about me. Sorry. <laughs> Which is probably just laziness on a year's part. Also, they might just like each other. I don't know. The plot thickens. And Eliza really wants the best in everything. She wants the best house, the best items. Bob doesn't. Bob literally has a table for his nightstand. One little theory that people have is because in Bob's bedroom, 
there is a fitness machine, but Eliza is the one who has the fitness skills. Some people think that Eliza is the slobby one and that's her bedroom with all of like the kids stuff in and the basic furniture and Bob's the one who's posh, which could make sense because she doesn't do anything. She doesn't really have any aims in life apart from to be rich. So it would make sense that that could be a bedroom and she's got that there, the fitness machine and she's a slob and Bob does everything. But what I think is more likely is that Eliza is just trying to get Bob into fitness. She wants him to be better because he's a little bit, he's a little bit funky, a little bit chunky. looks like she just wants to help him out. So you would think from this that the couple would end up divorcing, but plot twist. No, they don't. They end up staying together and do you know what? They even have a child. I know, a child named Iggy. So this was uploaded by someone who works for Maxis. So this is the new and improved Pancakes family with the new and improved son, Iggy, who actually resembles his father quite a lot. He's got quite the look of Bob, but not the personality because that's what's important, isn't it? And the biography for him states that he did kind of help save his parents' marriage, bringing a small measure of harmony to the Pancakes household. Don't have a kid to save your marriage though because that's not a good thing to do, but it seemed to work for the Pancakes. And his personality is a charmer, which I think is good for the family, you know, because the both, Bob and Eliza, they're as dry as anything. They're the most dry people in the world. So having a little charmer come along is great and I'm really happy for them and that is everything I have to talk about the Pancakes family. Not really that much drama, not really that much decades to go through because they are only available in The Sims 4 and there is some hints that these are supposed to be like the newbie family from The Sims 1 but I just think they would just be the newbie family wouldn't they? I don't know, let me know what you think. So let me know what you think if they're the newbie family, who you prefer, do you prefer Bob or Eliza because that is a very contested issue, let me tell you that one for free and if you even knew they had a kid named Diggy. So yes, that's everything. I'm gonna end it here. I will leave the playlist at the end of the video so you can go check out all the other history of videos that I've done. My links will be in the top somewhere. They're all there so you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Twitch and all that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.